Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another drink review. Uh, today I'm going to do a versus series. So it's one of those where I compare two different drinks. Uh, the paradigms are still the same. So it's price, taste, unique selling point, and still which one is better. Okay. Uh, today I got, uh, I've always wondered, like, you know, uh, Milo, right? I've always wondered, it does the Milo taste better in the box? This is the box one. Or does it taste better in the can? Okay, so box or can? So, right now we're going to find out. So, we're going to start normally as usual. So, the price starting is, this one is 250 Okay, so this one is 250 The can is 250 And this one is 150 Ringgit, sorry. 150 Ringgit. The MLs are, this is half of the ML from this one. So, for a, a ringgit more, you can get double the ML, which is this one, right? So value-wise, I guess this is better, but I guess the packaging also comes into the cost, right? Uh, price-wise, obviously this is much better, okay? But we're not just looking at uh, price-wise, we're also looking at the taste. Start, um, seeing that this is a review where I actually compare the taste, I don't want to put it in the same cup, so I have two different cups. This is more like shot glasses. I just got this. Uh, I attended a wedding recently and they gave this as a dog gift. So now I have two of it. So yeah, that's great. Okay, let's figure it out. So on my right, it will be the can. On my left will be the box one. So let's find out the taste. The can one is open first. Okay. It smells like normal Milo. So, there's nothing too special about it. So, it smells like normal Milo. I'll pour it out and you guys can see. Okay. Right? It looks like normal Milo. Milo, if you don't, guys don't know, sorry. If you guys don't know what Milo is, Milo is just a really, really famous chocolate drink. So, yeah. Let's see the this one. The box one. I have to cut it from the side. Yeah. So on my left is the Milo box. Okay. Okay, Milo box. Hmm, that's odd. I think the Milo box one is a bit more thick than the normal one. You can see the difference. So Milo box looks a bit more thick. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead with the taste. The smell one. This smells, um, well, like normal Milo. This has less of a smell. Maybe the can does make the smell stronger, but this actually smells better. Again, uh, the can wins, so it smells better. And the unique selling points. Uh, well, if you see the can, it's really green in color. So Milo has always been green in color. It's made by Nestle, just in case you guys are wondering. It's always marketed as um, a drink for you to do after or before sports, right? Or during sports. So the can is, well, iconic, green. While the box is actually, to be honest, pretty good. It's a really, really square box. It also features, well, it's, it's usually localized. So nicely localized this. This is apparently, a, I guess, a native Malay footballer. So as a unique selling point, I guess it's not much seeing that both of them are the same one. But I much prefer the smaller pack, yeah? It's so cute and so easy, so easy for you to travel and put in your bag. Cans usually get dented if you put in a bag, right? So, for the USP, I think I would give the box because it's very rare for you to find that's a small, cute box like this. See, such a small box. Alright, now the last part. Which one should you buy, I guess? Oh wait, I haven't tried the taste yet, sorry. So, back to the taste. The first one. This is the can. Okay. Um, the chocolate taste is really, really good. It's really, really smooth, to be honest. And the fact that it's cold really helps. It's not too sweet. There's no bitterness. It just really, really tastes like chocolate milk. Let's try the can one. See, the can one is a bit... I can see sedimentations, which is kind of odd. Because both of it has been shaken. So, I guess it's more... 
uneven in the box. So let's just try a taste. Hmm. The box one does this better. The box one actually has a stronger taste versus the can one. The can is much more smooth, much more refreshing if you want to say. But the box one tastes definitely better, tastes more chocolatey than anything else. So, um, well, the price-wise, this wins. Taste-wise, this wins though. Unique selling point still this wins, so I think preferably, I would prefer this box one. Yeah, because this one, um, Milo has very high, high sugar content, so uh, you can see this one. This one has 8.9 grams of sugar. This one actually has 16. So, as usual, Milo has very, very high concentration of sugar. So, I would prefer taking this. At least you don't feel so guilty about it. This is a lot of sugar for one drink, yeah? So, right now, clearly, the box one wins. Alright guys, uh, thanks for another versus video. I see I haven't done versus video in a while, so I want to add it more. So you guys see more versus video down the road. Or if you guys like it, do like and subscribe. If you don't like it, do tell me in the comments really. If there's anything wrong with my videos, please tell me in the comments. I'll see if I can change some things, yeah? Alright guys. Cheers.